Hello friends and welcome to the current feeling reading. So just before I start, this is an in-between setup. I am still waiting to uh, get my new desk, my new furniture for the reading. So, you know, just letting you know, <laughs> this is not permanent. I just left Montreal. Uh, I moved a couple hours away, so I'm still getting adjusted. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, if you know me a little bit, you know these are my favorite readings to do. I love it so much. Um, not having to focus on one specific collective, but just a reading for anyone who needs to hear it, okay? So make sure to like this video. Thank you for your patience, the donations, the love and support. Uh, the likes, the follows, it, it means a lot to me, okay? You guys changed my life, and I'll never say it enough. So let's pick two cards. I want to see what is the energy. How are they feeling about you right now? Okay. <laughs> okay, someone's going through a lot. Someone's going through a lot. Okay, this is an amazing pair. We have the tower and the star. Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius energy. I'm not here to focus on the signs, okay? The zodiac sign. So there was a tower moment. Something happened. Something was said or something wasn't said, okay? Because the tower sometimes can happen when people are not stepping up or not telling the truth it could be anything the universe is stepping in and it could hurt it's not easy but it's always for your greater good and the star card is here to confirm that so there was a tower moment and now we're entering a period of healing so this person i do feel like they have a lot of regret for the way that they treated you definitely seeing these two cards they want to make things better. They want to apologize. They want to explain what the hell happened. Why has it been so hard between the two of us right now? Why wasn't why wasn't I strong enough to tell you shit like it is? Okay, um, I'm really happy. It feels good to see these two cards together. Uh, because I know that the person who is in pain, the person who is struggling right now is not going to feel this way for long, okay? So let's start with the tarot and let's see what this person is feeling. What is happening? What is happening? Someone is definitely dealing with an Aries or someone with, you know, some type of emperor person, some type of intense, passionate, definitely a lot of tension between the two of you. The sexual, the sexual energy is intense also. Um, Someone could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I don't know why Aries is popping out in my head strongly. It doesn't have to. We have the lovers and the page of pentacles in the reverse as first energy. There is still love in that situation. The thing is that this person, they've been struggling to show you. They've been struggling to actually put actions with their words. I do feel like there was a period of silence or a period of just giving you enough so the relationship still exists, but it wasn't uh, evolving. The page of pentacles is double earth energy. There was nothing rational happening. It was all up in the air. Like, do you still care about me? Are we still even friends? Like, <laughs> why aren't you responding to my message? Why did you block me? Why am I seeing this and that online, you know? Maybe you saw them with another person. Maybe you heard a story. Maybe you had no freaking idea what was happening. But inside you, your gut, your soul, you know that this isn't over. You know that this is unfinished business and there is still love in that situation. 
And you can't believe that it could be just over like that. Because this person reminds you of you. <laughs> the lovers is exactly that. Also remember that we are entering a lover's year. So 2022 is a lover's year. We're just ending Hierophant years it was really intense. We learn how to speak up for ourselves. We learn how to put ourselves first. We learn how to uh, be the leader of our lives. But now in the lover's years, it's like, okay, this unfinished business that I have, what the hell is happening? I'm hurt. I'm willing to have these difficult conversations. The Three of Swords is all about that. It's bravery. The bravery to be able to tell someone, hey, this isn't working for me anymore. Or hey, you hurt my feelings. So with the Three of Swords, someone was willing to say how they felt. And the other person, I do feel like they could have ignored or just it hurt too much. But you prefer the truth. You prefer the truth that hurts than nothing, than silence. So with the Three of Swords, this confirms there is a difficult conversation that is about to happen. It's going to bring you a lot of release. And let's pick more cards. I want to know what, what is the theme? What are they saying in that conversation? Tell me about the Three of Swords. <sighs> Knight of Cups and Five of Swords. This person know they fuck up. They're aware. This person feel like they definitely did something wrong. They know that they did something wrong. I don't know if it's because you told them. I don't know if it's because they realized. We'll see. We'll see. The Knight of Cups. So... The Knight of Cups to me is really strategic, uh, really strategic with how he's moving with his emotion, with his heart. Um, there could have been unfinished business with a past person. This relationship with you was evolving pretty fast. There were probably promises that were told, uh, you know, promises that were made, I'm sorry. With the Five of Swords, this is an uncomfortable energy. This is feeling like you did something wrong. I think that this person put you in, in that situation. They put you in the Five of Swords. You're like, what did I do? Is it me? Is it because I'm not, you know, pretty enough, cool enough? Uh, is it because you love someone else? Uh, with the Knight of Cups... I do feel like this person probably had unfinished business or probably had feelings for someone else or maybe they stayed open to other people, but you didn't know about that. I'm not saying this person is a liar, cheater. I feel like there was things left unsaid. This person, I don't feel like they had the guts to tell you what was happening exactly in their heart space. Maybe they were intimidated by you. Maybe again, this was like up in the air. This could have been an online relationship. The page of pentacles in reverse, this could definitely be an online relationship. This could be someone at a distance. Um, I don't like that they made you feel like you weren't good enough. You might still feel this way. And this is not true. This is something that they will tell you in this difficult conversation that you will have with them. They will make sure you understand that you are not the problem. Okay? I do feel like this conversation... Okay, okay. And the cards are here to confirm what I was saying. Give me a second. What do we have? Yeah. This conversation will change everything between the two of you. I don't feel like it would it will happen really fast. I do feel like with the King of Swords, this person is going to be honest with what's happening. Something changed. Something suddenly changed in their life. And I do feel like having this conversation with you could open the door to expanding the relationship. I do feel 
like this person could tell you, is it a possibility that right now we can just be friends? Is it a possibility right now that we can try to just not hate on each other, not fight? I don't want to lose you, but right now, I'm not saying there's someone else. There could be someone else, but I don't want to make this the focus of this reading because this is about how they're feeling uh, about you. But with the judgment in the reverse, I do feel like there could be a turn like in situation. There's something about you that is different from anyone they've been with. There's something different about you and I feel like they were trying to ignore that. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Things were moving slow between the two of you uh, after a while. I feel like the beginning was kind of fast. It was intense. But why am I feeling like at one point they shut down? They made a lot of promises. And I'm going to be honest, I feel like they knew they couldn't keep these promises. But the love is still here. You feel that. I don't know if they want to admit that to themselves. This is someone who is conflicted emotionally. I'm going to be totally real with you. This person is definitely conflicted. But I don't like the way they made you feel. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. Having this conversation with you will open a new door. I don't know if they will admit that. I don't know if they will be clear about that. I do feel with the King of Sword, we have honesty. So I like that. <sighs> they could tell you that they unexpectedly met someone else. That it wasn't planned. But I feel like... After having this conversation with you, which will be intense, there's something that happened. There's something that clicks. They realize that what they did was shitty. They realize that they could have been a better person, a better friend, a better partner, a better lover, a better whatever. Um, I don't know if you want to accept this offer. Again, I feel like this person wants to offer you their friendship first. And I don't think you're necessarily comfortable with that. Can we at least try and build a friendship? Can we at least not hate each other is something that is coming out strongly for me right now. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan because I do feel like you were kind of left out in the cold emotionally like eh. hmm, okay so with the chariot this person is going to get vulnerable with you okay the chariot of course is cancer energy cancer to me is a hard shell a soft inside i do feel like Everything that you created in your mind about what was happening because you were in the unknown. You had no other, you know, choice but to create a story in your mind about you not being good enough, about them not giving a fuck about you, whatever it is. With the chariot, this person is going to get vulnerable with you. They will be admitting, admitting, sorry, that they still have feelings for you, but they don't really know where to go from there. So distance could be an issue. Um, difference in, you know, a major difference between the two of you. <sighs> this is definitely an intense situation. God, I feel like they are stuck emotionally. They could be in love with two person. They could be in love with two people. They could be in love with you, but not knowing how to move from there. How do we do this? How do we make it work? How can I repair what I broken? How can I make this better? How can we heal this situation? 
let's take another deck, my love, okay? Let's take new energy. I want to know what the universe wants you to know about this person. They feel stuck. They definitely feel stuck emotionally. But why? Is there someone pressuring them that you don't know about? Tell me about this person. We have the Temperance and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. This person is, is completely not aligned. <laughs> their mind, their body, their soul, they have self-confidence issues. I do feel like they're working really hard on that, seeing the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I'm gonna be honest, this person, they are so far spiritually from where you are in your journey. They have a lot of shit to learn. They have a lot of things to go through. Um, I feel like there's this feeling of they're repeating the same cycles over and over again when it comes to love. They did that before what they did to you. They absolutely did that before. This is someone who sabotage things that are good for them. Push away the people that definitely would make them a better person. Not that it's your job ever to make someone a better person. The Eight of Wands and the Hermit. Do you see how conflicted this person is? They want to communicate. They still have passion, desire for you. But they, they're staying in hermit mode. This person is not allowing themselves to think what is going to happen in a year, two years, five years. In their heart, they know one day they'll reunite with you. They absolutely know that one day it will be the time for them to be with you physically. They'll tell you that. The passion is here. The love is here. But this person right now in this present moment, they don't believe they're good enough for you. They don't believe that this situation can be fixed. You know, I'm an, you know, if you know me a little bit, you know, I'm an advocate for the present moment. Of course, I do believe that everyone should be learning how to be in the present moment. I do feel with the hermit card, this person is trying to do that. They're overwhelmed when they think about you. They get overwhelmed because it's too much. Because there's so many emotions attached to this situation. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person is walking on eggshells. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want you to get mad. They don't want you to block them, be pissed off. They don't know how to express how they're, how they're feeling, really. This is someone who is incredibly conflicted. And it's not about you. It's them. It's their inner battle. But there could definitely be another person kind of interfering and making them even more uh, conflicted when it comes to how they feel about you. I don't know if this other person gives them the space to really express how they feel. With you, they have that space. And that is a precious, precious freaking gift. They know that they can be themselves 100% around you, with you. They don't have that with anyone else. And it's creating a lot of conflict, a lot of inner conflict. And we have another eight. I'm not surprised. I was just looking at the eight here, eight here. We have another eight here. So eight, eight, eight. You know how much I love angels number. Eight is the most transformative number in the tarot. You transform this person. I don't even think you're aware of it. Um, this is also, the eight is always a connection with the infinite symbol. So you know that there is this sacred connection, uh, spiritual connection with, with them. Um, something clicks, something works. But right now you're going to have to be incredibly patient. It sucks. No one wants to hear that. Like, be patient. 
Is it someone that you're willing to be patient for? I'm going to be honest. I feel like definitely a lot of you already been more than patient with them. You're going to have to express how you feel without any filter. You're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to be raw with them. Um, with the eight of wands, I know there's definitely a calling for you to express how you feel in a non-filtered way. Um, hmm. I feel like the timing doesn't feel right. They feel like the timing is off. But they can't deny how they feel. This per You got this person so tormented, I swear. The thing is that if they're not with you physically, it creates a lot of doubt. In French, we say, loin des yeux, loin du coeur. And I have no freaking idea how you say that in English. Um, you know, uh, far from the eye, from, from the, far from the heart. Uh, I feel like this person, since they're not with you physically, they don't know. They don't know how to make this happen. There's a lot of fear attached to this. I don't know. Are you, do they feel intimidated by you? By the fact that you're confident in knowing that this is your person. Uh, again, this could be someone who is so conflicted that they sabotage a lot of relationship. We have the five of pentacles in the reverse. So you're going to get much more comfortable with them. Good. A five in the reverse. I like that. The, in the past, yeah, this confirms that they left you out in the cold. Uh, there were some unfinished business. Uh, there's something that they didn't tell you. This is Taurus energy. I feel like, you know, in the beginning when I said this person wants to be your friend at first, this person wants to learn how to communicate with you because it is not something they're good at. They could be the kind of person who gets offended a lot, who always feel like they're saying the wrong thing. Again, that's why I was feeling like they're walking on eggshells a lot. It's like they don't want to disappoint you. They don't want you to think that they're an asshole, like a, they're a liar or everything. They really care how people perceive them. This is an issue, a personal issue they have. It's important what other people think of them. And I am not sure you know that about them, but this is coming out strongly. They're trying to work on that. They're trying to work on that. They want to look good to other people. They want to sound good. They want to they want people to think that they have their shit together when at the end of the day Again, Aries energy is coming out strongly with the Emperor. Uh, I was ex I was just thinking about the Emperor. This is so weird. They care. They want to look good to other people. They want people to think that they have their life together when inside they're so tormented. And I think you saw that in them. But you never judged them for it. You never judged them for being tormented. I do feel like you gave them the space, you know, to fuck up, get back up again, fuck up and get back up again. There could have been a lot of in and out between the two of you. I think they feel like being single for a while would be the best thing for them. But they're not able to do that. Why? I'd love to have a peek into their brain. This is a complicated being. Like, I think that you, it's so simple in your heart. You're like, you know you love them. You know you want to be with them. But they're making this really hard. They're making this really hard. This is a complicated energy but at the end of the day, you have a lot of love for them. You saw something in them that just you're not sure that you can find in someone else. And I get that. I get that you're attached to, to them, to their energy. 
you have a special connection. This could be a twin flame energy, definitely with the two of pentacle, which again, the infinite symbol. We have eight infinite symbol in this reading. Number eight is a really important number for you. Think about that. I don't know if you were born in the eighth month. Eight, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for that person? Okay. Uh, August could be an important month. Maybe you will reunite with them in August. Maybe you will finally see them in the month of August. The two of pentacle and the hermetic is called the Lord of Harmonious Change. So this tells me that this will evolve in a harmonious way. This will evolve in a nice way. You suffered enough. You've been through a lot of pain. You've been in the unknown enough. I feel like the conversation you will have with them will bring a lot of clarity. I'm not saying everything will be perfect. And this person is conflicted. You deserve someone who is open, willing to, you know, to do the work. This person is giving you just enough so the relationship still exists and you deserve more than that. You know that. Maybe you don't want to admit that because you definitely want to be with this person and they want that too. But when they're not with you physically, it gets so crazy. Uh, there is definitely a calling to be with them physically, to reunite with them. I do feel... Again, I'm sorry, like this could be happening in the eighth month. Like I said, a lot of conversation about can we be friends right now? And you know why? It's because they don't want to separate completely from you. If this person didn't care, they would block you, leave you, just never talk to you again. They need you. They need you. They need your energy. Because they know that they have a safe space with you. But they're still conflicted. Okay, let's take these three cards. We have the two of wands, which confirms that this is a twin flame connection. We have the sun, double confirmation. And we have the nine of pentacles. This person, like I said, they need to be single. They need to spend time on their own. I don't know if they're trying to distract themselves by being with another person. This is definitely a soulmate twin flame connection. You're not crazy. You've been feeling these things. You've been asking yourself, am I crazy? Am I crazy for feeling this way? Should I leave them alone? Should I move on? With the sun, it's like there is still a lot of hope. There is definitely a lot of hope, but like I said, you're going to have to be patient and the nine of pentacles confirms that. God, there's so much Aries energy, fire, sexual tension, intensity, and that's why it's so hard for you to move on because I think a part of you is like, okay, I'm just going to move. I'm just going to live my life and not focus on this person. It's like physically energetically impossible for you to just get this person off your mind this is love this is a soulmate connection with the two of wands to me this is tw my card of twin flame energy there's a period of separation that happens most of the time with twin flame and that's why i feel like with the sun it confirms definitely that the month of august could be a reunion for you and them Think about it. What does it mean? The number eight. You'll see what happens when you have this conversation with them. Listen to yourself. Take time to check in. This is not a situation that you should rush. This is definitely a time to really be careful with the words you're using, but stay true to yourself. I love you so, 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 so much. I know that this isn't easy, an easy situation. I know that the person who connects with that rating is going through a lot right now. I love you. I'm here. I hope this serves you. I hope the person who needed to find this message finds it. And I can't wait to bring you more messages.
Have a good day. Bye.